Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Tatum and I am someone who loves makeup and animals. And in today's video, I'm gonna be using new products and I'm super excited. We got um, the ColourPop and Kathleen Lights collaboration, the Twinkle Lights liquid lip balm doll. We got a new e.l.f. eyeshadow palette that I thought was really pretty. It's, it's called the New Classics Eyeshadow Palette. And it says here, have you ever dreamed of your perfect neutral palette? Your wish is our command. Meet the New Classics. This 18 pan palette contains a curated selection of essential matte, satin, and shimmer shades to achieve any neutral eye look. This looks formula is smooth, creamy, blendable, and ultra pigmented for effortlessly application. And then it says for directions, apply a light shade all over the eyelid with an eyeshadow brush, apply a medium complementary shade in the crease of the eye and blend out to contour. Then I apply the darker shade along the lash line on the outer corners of the eye for added depth and a smoky effect. So I'm really excited to try this. And then I have this Morphe 8W Warm Master Blush Palette I'm really excited about. Um, it says here, eight shades for the heat of the moment. Kick it into neutral or go for the bold with these creamy matte shimmer and satin blush formulas in warm tones. And I do want to let you guys know that Morphe is cruelty free. Cruelty free Kitty did a Q and A with them, and they have told her that they do not test any of their products on animals. They don't sell in China. They don't test. None of their suppliers test on animals. So that is amazing. And so I am super excited to continue to try Morphe products. I will link Cruelty Free Kitty's. Um, website in the bio so you can check out her um, Q&A with them and then everything that else that they said and and then I got a couple new powders here the Milani translucent light to medium make it last setting powder I bought this because I saw Shan XO talk about this in her drugstore favorite so and I love her I trust her recommendations so I'm gonna try this out I'm really excited and then Casey Holmes uh, talked about this Essence, Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. So I'm really excited to try this and see if it brightens up the under eye. And let's see, what else? I got this CoverGirl, what's this called? The Lid Lockup eyeshadow primer this was a recommendation from Rachel loves she put this in her drugstore favorites video and I got this on clearance so that was really awesome so I'm really excited to try this it claims it preps lids for all day layer wear all day crease proof shadow security that's cute shadow security maximize the wear and intensity of your shadow and dries quickly so I'm really excited about that and Let's see, what else do we got here? We, I wanna try this uh, BH Cosmetics Eye Light. I haven't tried these on my channel. I have tried them off camera and they're really nice, but I do wanna try them again. And then I got these CoverGirl face products. The CoverGirl True Blend, True Blend Base Business Skin Primer and the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Comfort Matte Transfer Resistant Foundation. These are recommendations by Allie Glines, who I absolutely love. And also, the she also recommended the Flower Seal the Deal Long Lasted Setting Spray Matte Finish, and I have combination skin, so that's perfect. Um, they do have other set. They other. They do have a uh, dewy setting spray as well. So if you have more dry skin, that would work for you. Um, so I'm really excited to try those out. And then I have the NYX Worth the Hype Mas Volume and Lengthening Mascara in Black slash Noir. Um, I'm really excited to try this. I saw Jay Kissa use it on her in her in her videos, and I like the way it looks, so I'm gonna try it for myself. And then another new product is I got this in my boxy charm. 
And this is the Billion Dollar Brows Universal Brow Pencil. And I have, I don't think it has a color. It's just, I guess, universal. So I'm really excited to try that out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I already have my um, moisturizer on, my eye cream. I use the LMS Pro Collagen Marine Cream. L LMS is a really is a new cruelty-free skincare brand, and I've been loving their moisturizer so far. It's the day one. It's an anti-wrinkle day cream. So. That has been working great. And then I use for my eye cream, the e.l.f. Illuminating Eye Cream. And I love how it just helps prep my under eye for concealer and it also adds hydration. So I'll start with the CoverGirl True Blend Face Skin Primer. I'm so, I'm so excited that CoverGirl went cruelty free. And so I'm just gonna take a little bit that size. On my hand and then start pulling that. That feels really nice. Um, it feels very silky and hydrating. So I'm really. That sounds. This feels promising. It says on here, smooth skin and blurs of floss to create the perfect canvas. I do, oh, there's some right there. <laughs> I do feel like it did help blur my skin out because like I have pores right here and it's not picking up on them. I think that really helped to face tune them. <laughs> and it helps extend the wear of your makeup and long lasting weightless feel, which I agree. Oil free, fragrance free, suitable for all skin types. So that is awesome. And now I'm gonna move on to the eyes. And especially like with a new eyeshadow palette, you never know if there's gonna be a lot of fallout or how it's gonna go. So I always start with like my eyes first. So I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Lid Lock Up. Don't you hate it when you get like primers all over your hands and you feel like you can't open things? <laughs> I'm just gonna blend that in with my finger. Alright, that feels good. The e.l.f. The new Classics eyeshadow palette looks like really pretty. I love how they have that like pop of green in there. It makes it really unique. I have no idea where I'm going with this look today. <laughs> And so I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics crease brush and I am going to go into the shade called Truffle, which is this one right here. And then on the lid. Oh, wow. That is pigmented. Pigmented. It's blending really nicely. I'm gonna go into the shade called Darling and just put that on the outer V to add some depth. Okay, Elf. Look at that. That's really pigment. That's really nicely pigmented, and it's blending out really nicely too. I really have to say I am really excited for all the e.l.f. releases because they're really stepping up their game. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade called Muse on my Wet n Wild P15 brush. This kind of reminds me of the Sigma. It does have the Sigma E25. It does have a little bit of kickback, but that doesn't really bother me. You can just blow it away. And then I'm just gonna focus that on the outer corner as well. This is 
A really good trick for building up like intensity and dark colors is to start with the lighter colors and then put the darker ones on top. Again, with a clean fluffy brush and just blend everything together so there's no harsh lines. And everything blends seamlessly together. And I'm gonna go back into the first shade called Truffle and just blend everything together. I really like this shade. I am going to the Funny Bone tonight and I am really excited. I'm going with my parents and I am really excited and that's why I'm getting ready at like 4.34 in the afternoon. Um, and I'm doing more of like a nighttime look and like more daytime. I mean, you probably could wear this during daytime too. Let's be real, you can wear this whenever you want. And I'm really excited. It's um, free. The tickets are free. You just have to buy a couple of things they sell per person. So that's not bad. And now for the all over eye color. What color do I want to go with? Maybe start with Black Cherry and go into Glamour. I'm going to go into my Luxie 213 eye shading brush. That's how much you want. And this will also help to transition from that dark color to the light color. Okay. That is really pretty color though. Just gonna try and blend those edges right there. And I actually think I I'm gonna take, do we wanna? Oh, maybe I'll take Blanc in the inner corner. Hmm. Maybe I'll take some Gilded in the inner part. I have no idea what I'm doing, guys. I'm just playing around. <laughs> that is really pretty. So how are you guys doing? I know it's been quite a while since I last uploaded. And... That is because I got busy with work and I actually resigned from Sephora because I got offered a new position and a new job and I'm really excited for that and I will take with me the memories that I made with Sephora and I'm really excited for the future and like the new job I have going on for me. So, I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild P10 brush. I'm gonna go into the shade Blanc right here. Nice highlighting shade. And just put that on my inner corner. Wow, that is really nice. Blend it onto the lid a little bit. I 
that looks really pretty. Because I don't want to lose any of that black cherry shade. Which to me, I don't see, it looks purple in the pan, but it, I don't really see it. I don't know. Like, it's got that deep violet color in it, and I don't, it looks kind of just like black to me, but maybe I'm doing something wrong, or maybe it's just the lighting. Just blending these two colors together. What do you guys think? Do we like it? Do we not? Let me know in the comments below what you think. All right, and that is the top of the eye completed. And there is some fallout, um, but that's okay. But first impressions, this is really nice. I do like the formula. Like this black cherry shade. I don't know if I, I, it looks purple to me, like a deep violet. And maybe I just can't see it because of the lighting outside. Um, but that's the only complaint I have. The shadows, otherwise, like I kept building and blending because that's what you do with eyeshadows anyway. And I liked it. I liked the color payoff. And I, they were easy to use except for that one shade I'm not too sure about. And now let's do some mascara on top lashes using the NYX Worth the Hype mascara. I'm just gonna blink. That's one coat. It's really nice. I'm gonna do a second coat. What do you guys think? I really like that. That looks really good. That looks like I'm wearing, it looks like I'm wearing falsies. So this I really like. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and this is after two coats and I'll do the same thing to the other side and I'll be right back. Okay, and I am back. I really like how that looks. I like how the eyeshadow looks I like the mascara so so far so good uh, we're off to a positive note and now for foundation use the covergirl true brand matte made foundation I am in the color L10 and I saw Rachel Love actually do this um, technique with a powder brush she put a couple pumps of foundation on her hand and then mixed it. And then put the... Ah, hair! <laughs> Getting in the way. And then I saw her take like a big powder brush like this and then just start applying it. Oh. Like this, and it's supposed to give you like a flawless airbrush finish. <laughs> mm, and it looks more natural. And this is a Wet n Wild P70. Dacian is looking really nice. I, like, if you look up close, yeah, you can still see a little bit of my imperfections, but I don't mind that. And it did cover really well. Like, you can still see some redness peeking through, but that also might be doing to me doing that. Um, I mean, my cheeks are a little more sensitive than the rest of my face. So I 
like this foundation so far. Next is concealer, and this is nothing new. It's uh, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I'm in the shade C3. I love this stuff. I'm just gonna dab. And then to blend that out, I'm gonna use one of my favorite brushes to blend out concealer. It is the Real Techniques Medium Sculpting Brush. So next I'm gonna do the Essence Brighten Up Powder. And I'm going to use my um, Wet n Wild P65 brush to do so. And let's see if this brightens up the under eye any. See, the thing about being pale though, <laughs> is I, it's kind of hard to find uh, shades to like brighten up my skin because I'm already really pale. This is, I would say, yeah, my under eyes do look brighter. I'm gonna put this wherever I put the concealer. And then I'm gonna use a powder brush, my e.l.f. powder brush. And I'm gonna use the Milani Translucent Setting Powder around the rest of my face. Mm, this powder actually smells good. And that set my face really nicely. I don't look too, it doesn't look heavy. I'm gonna come in close to you guys. I look bright and set and it looks healthy. It doesn't look flat. I am gonna warm up this face though because I do feel a little pale. <laughs> so I need to warm up my face and that's what this is for. And it also is the warm master. Ooh. Oh, it doesn't come with a mirror. Hmm. And these are the shades. Ooh, these are really pretty. So I am gonna take the shade, I'm gonna <laughs> lightly take the shade called All Unapologetic. And my BH Cosmetics, this is the number two. I'm just gonna do a couple. Oh, let's see. Okay, that's actually blending out really nicely. I think I'm gonna go into the shade Sweet with my blush brush, my It Cosmetics blush brush. I'm just gonna pop that on the cheeks. And then I'm gonna take the setting spray, the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray. I'm gonna, let's test the, ooh, that is nice. That kind of reminds me of the Cover FX Setting Spray. Ooh, do we have a dupe? Fill in my brows. I'm gonna use the spoolie on the side. Ooh, that is pigmented, so you don't need very much. Which means it's quick and easy. Not sure how I feel about the color. I feel like it might be a little too dark for me, but we'll make it work, it's fine. So I'm gonna not apply too much.
What do you guys think? I think it looks good. I'm not the best at brows. <laughs> I'm still learning how to do them. Please don't judge me too harshly. <laughs> um, and then um, highlight, I'm gonna use the same Morphe blush palette. And I'm gonna use my Sigma High Cheekbook Highlighter. This is the FO3. And I think I'm gonna take the shade called Babe, which is this one right here. Let's see how. Oh. Hmm. Not too shabby. That looks really pretty. And it doesn't, it looks a little, oh no. It looks a little dark. <laughs> when I look forward, oh man. My thoughts are that highlight may be good as like a, a blush topper. Maybe? This is the Tarte um, Skin Twinkle Volume 2. I love this palette, it's so good. I use a shade called Skylight to fix that a little bit. It looks better, it doesn't look so dark. Um, I like it. I don't like that there's not enough like, like this these might not be highlights. Maybe they are supposed to be like blushes. I thought this one would be light enough for my skin tone, um, but it's not. So maybe I'll use these as like blush toppers instead. Um, that I can make that work. Um, I feel like this might work really good for people who have like medium to deep skin tones. I think this would look really pretty. Um, I like the formula. I do. And I like the blush and the bronzer. It may be a little bit too, like the highlights may be a little bit too dark for me, but first impressions, I do like it. I'm going to keep playing with it and see what's up. And now I am going to use my Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Lip Scrub because my lips are very much tapped. And then for lips, of course, I'm going to go into the Kathleen Lights Twinkle Lights Liquid Lip Bundle. This is what's... Whoa! They don't fall out. Let's see. It comes with Little Star and Ultra Matte Lip. Night Lot... Night Light. Ultra... Oh, that's cute. Ultra Glossy Lip. Lucky Star, which is an Ultra Satin Lip. And Etoile... Etoile? Ultra Glossy, glossy Lip. The shades. Really pretty. Not sure which one is gonna go with this look. Maybe the is this the Lucky Star? Is this the Ultra Matte with the Yeah. I don't wanna do Ultra Matte. <laughs> Maybe do two way. It'll be fun. This is a little star. This is the ultra satin lip, which looks really pretty. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This is the ultra glass lip. What do you guys think? I think that's actually really pretty. And back to the eyes, I'm gonna take those first two shades that we did on the, in the crease and put that on the lower lash line. I'm gonna use my Luxie 237 blending shades and just double in between these two. Take maybe a little bit of 
belong on the inner rim right here, just to brighten everything up. To not shame. I'm gonna just, this is silver, so I don't know. That'd be cool as like a liner. Hmm. Maybe I'll use it next time. I'm sorry guys, I just don't wanna ruin the look. Um, but I'll definitely use this in the next video, I promise. I'm so sorry, I totally forgot about that. Um, and then I'm just gonna put some mascara on the lower lash line. All right, you guys, so that completes today's video. A quick rundown on everything. I really like this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. I think they have really stepped up their game. The formula is really nice. The only one that I had, I, I don't know too much about uh, my feelings yet is this, um, what is this called? The black cherry shade. I, I can't tell if it's supposed to be like a black slash purple. Um, let's see. Uh, the primer and foundation worked really well. I'll keep you guys updated when I come back uh, later in the night and update you guys. It is now 5.14 as I'm finishing this, and so I'll probably come back and check in 6, 7, 8, 9, at 12, so 7 hours. I know that's not exactly good, like, foundation wear test, um, but, uh, anyways, this blush palette by Morphe, I like it. I like the shades, except these, I feel like these would be better as like blush toppers or, and I like this blush and I like the bronzer. I'm just not sure, like the highlighters, they seem a little dark. Maybe I'll keep playing with them and see my final consensus on that. The powders, I like, I like these, no keep you updated on that final update when I come back later. The brow pencil looks good. Shade might be a little too dark for me, so I might pass this on to my mom. I love the ColourPop lip products. They are so good. Congratulations, Kathleen, on the ColourPop collaboration. I know you just came out with another collaboration with uh, ColourPop, the Zodiac Collection, uh, for your birthday, so congratulations. Congratulations on that. It looks beautiful, the um, pigments. And uh, the lid lockup by CoverGirl was really good. Nice and tacky. The mascara, I really like. So, so far so good. A couple things I wasn't too, I wasn't sure about or kind of eh, or like I'm not sure if it like will suit my skin tone. I might be able to get away with it. Maybe I just have to mix and match. And we'll see. Um, and also the nail polish I'm wearing is <laughs> KL Polish Kathleen Lights um, nail polish. I have her winter collection rain on. It's all the colors on here except for I don't have winter's coming on the white um, but other than that I have them all on. And that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you will consider subscribing and I hope you guys have a great night or day wherever you are. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, everyone. It is now 1.15 a.m. in the morning. So I wore everything an hour later than I said I would. Just for the purpose of wearing it, wearing the foundation and the powders and the eyeshadow for longer. And I think... So far, it's held up quite nicely. I, the only part that may have um, worn off is right here, but that's because I've been touching my face, um, also eating. Um, I think this does claim to be transfer proof though. 
but I mean I was eating vegetarian chicken wings so you know grease can um, wipe off things pretty easily because it's oily um, so maybe that's why and I the lip gloss did wear off but I really did like it it's the um, ColourPop and Kathleen Lights collaboration I used the shade called Etoli I think that's how you pronounce it it's the shade right here it's a really pretty I don't know what to call this shade like a a nude <laughs> um, I'm still getting a hang on describing colors um, the Morphe 8W Warm Master blush palette I like the formula I do like the formula a lot I just don't know if this is too dark for my skin tone I'm gonna keep playing around with it a few more times and then come up with my decision um, I loved the setting spray by flower beauty I thought that was really nice I love the spray on it and it smelled really nice and it's really helped with the longevity of my makeup and I love the powders like the Milani Milani setting powder and the essence brighten up powder work really well um, like it doesn't look cakey or heavy it just all looks really smooth and of course I love the makeup revolution concealer and eyeshadow looks still vibrant and really pretty so that CoverGirl lock up um, primer worked really well too um, the brow product is not bad. It may be a little bit too dark for my skin tone, but maybe I could pull it off. Maybe I just need to use a light hand. Um, and the mascara is really pretty too. Um, I think it's held up pretty well. It hasn't flaked on to my skin, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, I liked everything. It's just a couple products I'm a little iffy on because of the color, but the formula is really nice. And I hope you guys liked today's video. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of today's video, what you guys would like me to try next, and I hope you guys have a great night or day wherever you are, and I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I will be uploading more frequently. And I'm really excited about it. I think I want to do Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday schedule. But we'll see about that. Um, and yeah. So stay tuned for future videos. Bye. Hello everyone. It is now 1.11. So I went an hour longer than I told you guys. So... I thought that would be better because then that means more wear time. And so far, this is how everything is looking. You guys, you guys look really up close. It looks, the foundation looks really good. Um, the only part that it wore off is right here because that was when I was eating and of course the lip gloss came off because after I ate <laughs> but everything else wore up wore really well for eight hours I like the foundation I I think it's really good like medium to full coverage it's like really good for every day the powders look really good and it doesn't look like it's sunk in any and like my pores it didn't emphasize them in fact, they look really smooth, so that's really nice. I like how bright my under eyes look, and I love the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow is really pretty. So, and the highlight is really pretty. Um, the bronzer and blush I like a lot, um, and the highlight that I'm wearing underneath the from the the blush and bronzer and highlight from the Morphe 8W Warm Master I like. I'm just not sure about that highlight if I'm going to wear it as like a blush topper or if it's just too dark for me I'll have to keep playing with it and then decide so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I um I of course love the concealer makeup revolution conceal and define is amazing and this setting spray actually um 
forgot to mention the flower seal the deal long lasting setting spray this is really good it's really hold I think it's held up my makeup well for the eight hours and so this has been a really successful first impression slash try new makeup slash using some older goodies um, I just I really like everything um, just maybe I could get a lighter shade in the brow products and maybe a lighter shade or a lighter palette from the Morphe AW Warm Master maybe if they made a maybe I need to get a lighter one or something like that I'll figure it out but I like the formula the formula was really nice uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video give it a big thumbs up if you did enjoy today's video and I hope you will consider subscribing I I'm going to try uploading more frequently, hopefully at least Thursdays and on Sundays, and hopefully maybe on Tuesdays. So keep an eye out for those videos, and I hope you guys have a great night or day, wherever you are, and I'll see you next time. Bye!